Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for joining me today. I do appreciate your company and I would love to hear your thoughts on this. Back in 2006, in May of 2006, before I even found out what junk journals were, I was making little books and all sorts of little bits and pieces that I could house my favourite things in and this was one of my little book of favourite quotes. Now this I think was the first time I'd ever used the um, binding machine that my husband bought me so I was very impressed with that and I made this little book to put all my quotes in and I look I even went to the extent of putting some ink on the papers as, as after I'd printed them so <laughs> and to extend the page in this book let me just get rid of the little cover first up to extend the pages I actually used stickers to bind these little sheets together so that I could expand my book by two more sheets, make giving me four more pages that I could stick my sayings into without taking up hinge space. So, you know, I think I did rather well. Little stickers I've gathered, these were foam pieces that came in a long strip and I just cut the pieces off in between the big hearts and the little hearts so I had a little space there to use as a a pull tab. So, you know, I think I've done reasonably well for 2006. <laughs> I was quite surprised when I found this little book. I thought I must show everybody. And there were flowers on one lot of foam strips. I don't know if I've still got any of these or not, but 2006, I would hope not. You know, some I've written in by hand, others I typed and coloured with some inks or pencils or something. I did that with something. I can't remember what. I really cannot remember what I did did with it. But I just know it's held the test of time. Even these little office things, they were just little white stickers that um, came in a big sheet and I coloured them so that they partially matched in. I didn't have anything exactly that colour. You know, this is it's just a little walk through my history and I look I even left space that I could write more on or stick more on. I don't think I'll add anything to this book because it just it just came out the way it is looking now. It's absolutely wonderful. This is a lovely little thing to to listen. Let me read this to you. Thank you for stocking me up with poems and tunes to last me all my life. Thank you for showing me the setting sun for the first time and walking with me in the pouring rain and scrunching down winter beaches. Thank you for letting me bring home rocks and shells and fallen branches. Thank you for housing my frogs. Thank you for the excitement of being alive. Now that was written by somebody called Pam Brown. But I fell in love with it. I, I can still remember the first time I read that little thing and it just it touched me. Thank you for housing my frogs. For me it would have to have been cats. Because <laughs> my mother knew me only too well. If I said a cat followed me home, yeah, it followed me home, but shoved in my jumper or my sweatshirt, whatever you want to call them these days. But, you know, I would always, I'd bring home cats. And mum would somehow miraculously find a home for them. So I never, ever had a cat for longer than about three weeks. I've got to love my mum raising six children with a daughter who loved to bring home strays. <laughs> just one of my favourite historical stories the butterfly counts moment, uh, not months but moments and has time enough on oh, the name of the person that wrote that was Ravindranath Tagore say that ten times faster with that look I'll hold it up there so you can have a proper look took me a couple of seconds to work out how to say that of wonderful little sayings in here and my very very most favourite would have to be the Serenity Prayer written by Reinhold Neuber who lived between 1892 and 1971 God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change 
the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to distinguish the one from the other. Absolutely adore that. So I just thought I would share that with you as a you know a quick little video, because I was making things back you know in 2006, because there's the date there, 28th of May 2006, and without realising I was making a little junk journal. So there you be. Thanks for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed that. I thought I was rather clever when I made it. I, I can remember racing out and showing my husband how clever I'd been with the little hinges. And he just sort of looked at me and said, yeah, that's nice, love. <laughs> he didn't see the sense in that, but, you know, he he appreciated the fact that I was doing something to keep my time busy. All right, my lovely friends, thank you for sharing that with me, or thank you for letting me share it with you. And I hope to hear your thoughts on it. I hope to read your thoughts. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye for now.